Mark, welcome to my 2015 Max S trailer. This is another upgrade video, a little upgrade today, but one that should make things a little bit nicer for my wife. Um, I'm getting older, and she is too, and as you get older, you start to struggle with your hands a little bit. Um, this upgrade is about this stove. Um, my wife uses it, she loves it, works real well. Um, you know, your typical, you have to turn this valve on, hold that down, hold, take one of these lighters, hold the release on, pull the trigger, try to get it to light. Um, kind of a struggle carrying those things around and they're always out of fluid when you need them. <laughs> so in the mail today from Amazon comes a really cool little upgrade. Recognize that? Two of them for $9.95. They are Sparkers. Two of them with, uh, here, I'll tangle up here. Here we go. With these little igniters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little face plate right here, nice little aluminum face plate right above the refrigerator in that empty space. Mount these two sparkers right there, and these guys, we get right down here. If you look, it's a little tip. You just mount it. Um, and I'll work out where around here you mount it so that that tip So that that tip is just in in the flame spot just down below it um, And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna make this stove an auto ignition stove um, Basically turn that on with your right hand and Push with the bottom so that's good at it. I need to make a bracket to mount both of these and then we'll get in here and work out the holes I need to drill for it. And it may go here actually, so that both of those lines, they're one foot lines, um, will reach to the individual burners. But that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna basically take this stove out and then make that bracket. So we'll get at it, see you in a bit. Okay, so first step, um, underneath my sink, there's a panel that comes off right here that will give me access to the stove so I can take the stove off. A couple of screws, one there and one in the back. Let's take that panel off. Okay, there's that panel off. You can see how that's gonna give me access to underneath the stove area. I'm also gonna take this panel off, screws here and here to give me a little better access also. We're just gonna clear this area out so I can get up in there as I need to. Be back. Okay, so now I've got the refrigerator panel off. Give me a little bit more access. I wanna show you something that people are not aware of. In these, this is a Dometic stove. See these little rubber bumpers that are here? They're not just rubber bumpers. Check this out. If you pull this plug off, that is a screw underneath that plug. That's a screw that holds this down. <laughs> Piece of cake. So you just take these four rubber plugs off like that. And there we go. Turn those screws uh, about 90 degrees and a little clip underneath will move around like that. And then the stove can lift out. Now there's gonna be um, a hose and stuff connected to it. So I'm not gonna take it out of here. I'm just gonna lift it up so I can get access to this area. Okay, so, so here we go. You're gonna need a little dinky star bit. And you just put it in that and give that guy about a quarter turn and you'll feel it come loose. What that's done, it's turned that keeper 
sideways. So do that on all four sides. Okay, so there we have it. I have loosened all those brackets. You stick your fingers under here, and now you can lift that stove up. Those of you who don't know what it all looks like, and there you go. <laughs> anyway, that gives me access to drill and mount and do whatever I want to do um, right there. We'll get back at you. Oh, and before I move on, I want to show you those are those clips that we talked about. Like that, it's held. Like that, it's loose. And there's one in each corner. Okay, because these sparkers, if you look, see the threads on that nut? That's as deep as they can go. You can see that that's not going to be able to mount since the wood is that thick. I'm not going to be able to mount that directly in. So I've got a piece of scrap aluminum that I'm going to make a faceplate out of and mount these two in and then mount that faceplate right here. So let me go ahead and cut this, drill it, um, round it off, take a brush to it, make it nice brushed aluminum face, and we'll mount these guys on it and get it ready to go. Okay. There's my piece of aluminum, and I'm going to mount it right there by those upper controls. So let's go drill this and mount the, the sparkers on it. Okay, there's my mounted sparkers in my aluminum faceplate. Um, so I'll polish that up really nice when I'm finally done. But I'm going to mount that right above the other controls, right there. It'll be really nice. Um, don't push these while you've got it in your hand, because, man, they knock you on your butt. <laughs> I got, I sparked myself with one of these. Serious shock. Anyway, we're back at it. Okay, look at that. That's my test fit of my sparkers. Left right left very nice so i'll polish that uh the face bracket up next step is to drill where the actual spark mechanisms are going to be let's get at it okay there's my face plate all shiny and nice i gotta tell you if you're going to polish aluminum this is the stuff you want to use mother's aluminum polish there is no substitute. I don't get paid by them, but I wish I did. <laughs> Great stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and do final mount up and then uh, drill the stove top. See you in a bit. Okay, there's the final mount. And that looked nice. Really convenient. That is way cool. Now we'll drill in. Okay, now I'm gonna drill right there. And right there to mount those guys. Okay, here we are. All done. Strikers are in. Sparkers are mounted. All right. We'll push the sparker. I don't know if that shows on camera, but they are really popping good. So we'll just turn, I'm going to try to do this even one-handed. Turn this to light, push it in, like that. And there we have it. Look at that, that's sweet. Here's the other one. You can even do it as one-handed. And there we go. Both on. Excellent. Turn them off. Close it down. Project done. Not a big deal. But certainly will make my wife happy and need to have a happy wife. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.